Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel. And for today's discussion, we are going to learn how to solve word problem involving rational algebraic expressions. Let's have our first example. Two vehicles traveled x plus 4 kilometers. The first vehicle traveled for x squared minus 16 hours, while the second traveled for 2 over x minus 4 hours. Compute the speed of the two vehicles. So, how do we solve word problem? Una-una muna is we need to understand the problem. Ano ba yung tanong? So, from this example, ang tanong is we need to compute for the speed of the two vehicles. Next is we need to plan. Magpa-plano tayo. Ano nga ba yung gagawin natin for us to solve this problem? So, including ano yung formulas na gagawin natin? Ano yung steps na gagawin natin para masolve yung problem? Okay, so let's put up a table first. So, in this table, we have the vehicle 1 and then the vehicle 2. Isusulat natin ano yung distance na na-cover ng vehicle 1. Same with vehicle 2. Ano yung time traveled by vehicle 1 and then time traveled ng vehicle 2. And we are looking for the speed. Hinahanap natin yung speed ng dalawang vehicles. So, for distance, anong sabi sa distance? Okay, parehas sila. Ang travel distance nila ay x plus 4 kilometers. So, for vehicle 1, we have x plus 4 yung kanyang distance covered. While vehicle 2 naman, x plus 4 din. Yun yung covered uh, traveled kilometers ng dalawang vehicles. Move on naman tayo sa time. For vehicle 1, sabi dyan, the first vehicle traveled for what? x squared minus 16 hours. Okay, sulat natin. For x squared minus 16 hours daw. While the second naman traveled for what? 2 over x minus 4 hours. Okay. So, nilagyan na natin ng mga given. Naglagay na tayo ng given. Meron na tayong distance. And meron na tayong time. Okay, so paano natin kukunin ng speed? For us to get the speed, ito yung formula na given. Ito yung formula ng distance. Kasi for us to get the distance, we need to multiply rate times time. Yung speed, uh, it talks about rate. Okay. So, paano natin malalaman yung speed? Kung ang given na formula is distance is equal to rate times time. Okay. So, i-manipulate natin yung formula na distance is equal to rate times time for us to get the speed or the rate. Okay. So, this becomes, sulat muna natin, d is equal to rt, divide both side by time. Bakit natin i-divide both side by time? Para ang matira na lang sa right side ng equation ay rate na lang Okay, we cancel that one. Okay, so we have rate is equal to distance over time. Therefore, for us to get the speed, we need to divide the distance over time. Ang next na gagawin natin is we need to solve na the problem. Co-compute na natin yung speed ng two vehicles. Start muna tayo sa vehicle 1. Okay, so we have our formula. Ang gagawin natin, we are just going to substitute the value of the distance and the time. For vehicle 1, ano yung distance natin? x plus 4. At ano yung time? x squared minus 16. Kaya meron tayong x plus 4 over the quantity of x squared minus 16. Next is we need to simplify this one by factoring. Yung numerator becomes x plus 4. And then, yung denominator natin, if we are going to factor out x squared minus 16, this is the difference of 2 square, it becomes x plus 4 and x minus 4. Next is we cancel out kung ano yung common factors between the numerator and the denominator, and that is x plus 4. Ang ating final answer is rate is equal to 1 over x minus 4. Therefore, yung speed ng vehicle 1 ay 1 over x minus 4. Next na gagawin natin is kunin naman natin yung speed ng vehicle 2 using the formula. So, ano yung formula natin? Rate is equal to distance over time. And by the process of substitution, yung letter D, papalitan natin ng distance for vehicle 2. 
Yung letter T naman, papalitan natin ng time ng vehicle 2. So, this becomes rate is equal to x plus 4 over 2 over x minus 4. And then, so this is an example of uh, simplifying complex fractions. Ang gagawin natin, rewrite muna natin in this format. x plus 4 divided by 2 over x minus 4. We are going to apply the process in dividing rational algebraic expression. Ano yung gagawin natin? We copy this one. Next is we need to change this into multiplication. And we flip this over. Okay, let's do it. So this becomes x plus 4 times x minus 4 over 2. And then we proceed na to multiplication of rational algebraic expression. Paano tayo mag-multiply? Numerator times numerator and the denominator multiplied to the denominator. This becomes x plus 4 times x minus 2 over 2. Okay, gagamitin natin ang foil method to simplify yung numerator. This becomes x squared plus 4x minus 4x minus 16. We combine like terms, yung plus 4x minus 4x, it becomes 0 na kasi plus 4 minus 4 ay 0. So, ang matitira na lang ay x squared minus 16 over 2. And this would be our final answer. So, therefore, yung speed ng vehicle 2 ay x squared minus 16 over 2. After that, we need to check kung tama nga ba yung ginawa natin na process or solution. If you have any question, just comment. I'm happy to answer any questions. Please subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.